Okay, welcome and good afternoon, Makati Science High School. Welcome to ITCG's Connected Webinar Discussion, where Art Thou, STEM Creatives, Part 2, Growing as an Artist After. I am Ashki Badong, ITCG's Executive Vice President. And I am Yuan Zafra, ITCG President. And we are today's hosts and moderators. So first off, we would like to thank our dear speakers and of course the Maxi student body for accepting our invitation once again to join our webinar or discussion. Last Thursday, we had the first part of our series of webinars and our speakers talked about growing as an artist in a STEM-focused school. They shared their experiences, challenges, realizations, as an, and of course, tips on how to cope up with these different problems. Now, as we head to our second and last part of our webinars, our students will now learn how growing as an artist after studying in a STEM-focused school, and of course, how to cope up with these things. Again, ITCG maintains its position and role to provide assistance to the Makati Science High School student body in every possible means. And having this series of webinars is just one of our programs to contribute to the overall success of our students in our institution. Okay, now all of this would not be possible, of course, first of all, without our speakers. So we would also like to take this time to thank them for participating in this webinar and sharing their insights and experiences in their field. Um, thank you, speakers, for lending us your time and dealing with our constant uh, barrage of messages and requests these past few weeks. Now let's yep. proceed to the introduction of our speakers. Okay, to start off our introduction, he graduated in 20, he graduated 2015 in our school in Makati Science and is now currently taking B, Bachelor of Arts in Organizational Communication at the La Salle University, Manila. And is also taking a field of art in graphic design. Everyone, let's meet Kuya Gian Ferrer. Okay, Hello, Kuya Gian. Hello, Kuya Gian. Hello. Thank you for, for being with us here. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Okay, for our next okay. speaker, we have uh, Makati Science High School Batch 2019 graduate, uh, currently a bachelor's, uh, bachelor's of Arts in Organizational uh, Communication in UP Manila, and also a freelance worker. Uh, please let us welcome, with a round of applause, Ms. Gia Jarin. Okay, so hello, Atijia. Hello, Atijia. Thank you for being here with us. Okay, and now let's proceed to our third speaker. He graduated in Makati Science High School last 2018 and is currently taking Inter Integrated Liberal Arts and Medicine program in second year in the Uni in University of the Philippines, Manila. Everyone, let's meet Kuya LG Aseho. Hello. Hello, Kuya LG. Thank you for Hello, Kuya LG. being with us today. Okay. So our three speakers here uh, will each be sharing their experiences as an artist uh, and their lives after uh, they've graduated on Makati Science High School. Yes. So let's not delay this any further. Uh, without further ado, uh, may we call on our first speaker, Kuya Gian, Gian. All share right. his experience and knowledge. The floor is so, yours. Yes. Hello. Can you all hear me? Yes, so <laughs> yes. 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 well, loud and clear. Okay. Wait, ayan. Ipin ko lang yung slide ko. Hi, I'm Gian. <laughs> Pin niya yung screen ni Julian. Yes. Para makita niya yung super nice slides ko. <laughs> so, yeah. Next slide. So, hello. I'm Gian Ferrer. I'm batch 2015 sa Maxay. Unofficial college dropout ng Lasal. I took organizational communications. Tapos... I'm currently a fun employed graphic designer. So last year my work ako ngayon naghahanap rock. I'm also the owner and founder of Aesthetics and Hall Events. Those are two brands that I started 
So yung yung aesthetics is a sticker brand and you might have seen it in SMR and in Uptown Mall recently na pasing hall events we made powerpoint parties <laughs> next slide yun so as a max size student <laughs> um naglalaro lang talaga ako ng app sa ipad like wala hindi ako part ng mga orgs sa max size hindi ako naging active and so yung mga ginagawa ko as you can see dun sa top part ng parang grid ay puro mga drawing drawing lang drawing sa board kapag may chalk kapag may whiteboard marker tapos ayun download lang ng mga free apps hindi ako marunong magadobe actually nung max high student ako pero ayun with those apps nakagawa naman ako ng isang shirt design for math week as you can see right over there tapos that actually won nung third year ako so meron akong binenta siya tapos yung tropa party list hindi ako gumawa ng pub maps nila pero dinapitan kasi ako ng friend ko to make like the visual identity of the party list tapos tinanong niya ako Gia na ano bang pwedeng gawin ano bang pwedeng design ng pub maps so i came with the i came up with that fist bump thing na hindi masyadong maganda today because iba na yung meaning niya na oh my god <laughs> so ayun so the batropa you wanted to be like everyone's friend so it's easy to like parang pwedeng fist bump pero ngayon iba na meaning niya girl ka stress <laughs> buti na kaya kailangan ko takpan yung mukha nung person kasi baka mamaya isipin na DPS or something. <laughs> Next slide. Max size. <laughs> Max size influence. So, <laughs> funny. <laughs> Some projects required creativity even though it's, a, it's academic. So, like, for example, yung mga portfolio, yung mga jingle making contest, pag math week, science week, etc. week. Tapos yung mga skits kapag may class. For, for example, yung mga Filipino and English classes. Pati values, Lord. Tapos yung poster making projects and contests din. So, parang kahit na very academic tayo as a school or as an institution, I, we still find ways to be creative. And I think yun yung naging influence sa akin ng Magsay. Parang, how do I make information easier to consume or like maybe easier to at least remember? Kasi, di ba, for example, kung gagawa tayo ng jingle, parang in the tune of this certain pop song, tapos yung lyrics, puro very nerdy stuff na very technical and that. <laughs> so, I guess dun na influence nang maksay yung uh, parang pagiging creative ko not just as a designer pero just being creative as a whole as you can see <laughs> gumawa ako ng alter ego si Gina Paul <laughs> tapos naging si Dora din na ako <laughs> those are for skits <laughs> next slide so what's the naman ako now um Right now, I marunong na ako mag Adobe. <laughs> I'm now more focused on being a graphic designer. And I also own two brands. One of them is a satirical art brand called Aesthetics, which I mentioned earlier. So I don't know kung updated yung, yung, power, yung slides right now, pero the next slide should be like sample works. Yun, oh my god, nice. <laughs> There we go. Those are sa my sample work. So, gumawa ako ng social media posts for a certain brand. Gumawa rin ako ng event posters for a promotional book tour. Naka-layout na rin ako ng magazine. Tapos, so, sobrang proud ako dyan sa, ano, dyan sa magazine because it was distributed to over 10,000 people for free. Damn! 
next yung whole events ako gumawa naman ako naman yung gumawa ng branding tapos yeah it's okay yon that's my stickers naman <laughs> so yeah available siya sa sa common room Ayala Bay sa Uptown Mall right now and a few more stores so yeah hindi naman halatang favorite ko yung gradients no <laughs> so yeah that's my work Next slide. So how did I start? As a graphic designer, meron talaga akong course sa sa Orgcom that offers graphic design. So doon ako natuto mag layout and mag gumawa ng logos and visual identities or what people call as branding. Tapos as a business, I joined the student org. Saved up and a few YouTube tutorials. Yun kasi saying student org, um, you kind of have to know paano nagwo work ang isang in a way business. Kasi may operations, may finance. I mean, ganun rin naman yung mga orgs, I guess, sa Maxay. In a way na yung PIO, siya yung publicity or social media, yung treasure, siya yung finance, mga ganong bagay. So, if active ka sa org, that's actually really good kasi you get to know how things work talaga. Yung saved up naman, ano, tipong allowance lang, benta ng, ano, benta rin ng old stuff para may capital ka. Next slide. Tips. Yes. May pa-tips ako. <laughs> Next. Number one, don't force yourself. If wala ka sa mood, huwag ka na gumawa. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi parang nako-compromise yung quality of work mo. Iba yung best mo when it comes to be iba yung best mo kapag tamad ka and iba yung best mo kapag binigay mo talaga yung puso at isip mo. Napakantatuloy ako. <laughs> so pa- ayun, parang if wala ka sa mood, don't do it. Huwag, huwag ka nang gumawa. Kahit na sabihin mo for fun lang yan or kahit na for a project na for a school project, kailangan talaga na sa mood ka so that you can deliver your best talaga. And I think this goes for all kinds of... This goes for life as a whole naman. Kasi, you know, studies, for example, kung, kung pagod ka, tapos... Tapos, um, hindi mo na kayang i-absorb lahat ng information. E di parang kahit na tinatry mo yung best mo na i-absorb yung information, parang wala ka rin namang magiget. So, sayang lang din. Next slide. Work with what you have. You don't have to learn everything all at once. So, for exa- good example is yung kung paano ako nag-start. Diba, ano, nagsimula lang ako sa iPad and not knowing Adobe stuff. So, from there, at least parang na, may napapractice ako in a way. Not necessarily industry standards, pero at least you get to like hone, wow, what, your, what you want to do, your talents. Tapos, Hindi mo naman kailangan i-absorb rin lahat ng information na na um for especially yung skills. I mean, marami pa akong hindi alam as a as a person, pero you, you don't have to learn it all naman right now. Parang make do with what you have. Next slide. Lastly, collaborate. Ito yung Sobrang fun kaya mag-collaborate. Each person has their own talents and skills. You never know what you can create with someone else. So, I guess deep in Maxay, parang one thing that I want to like bring up talaga is that sige, we all like took a STEM focused school for high school and nag-humanities course tayo bigla. Here's the thing. Hindi, na, hindi naman lahat ng book smart ay marunong kumausap sa tao. So, parang 
mabuti na marunong may alam tayo when it comes to academic stuff especially with science math how things work ganun pero for example yung mga researchers na like sobrang next level na hindi ko ma-reach ay they can't talk naman parang sila sila lang yung magkakaintindihan eh di paano yung mga ano mga people who are less privileged with education or parang hindi lang talaga as smart as they are so we might as well help them we might as well work together in bringing information um accessible to the public yun yung medyo gusto kong i-highlight when it comes to collaborating. Hindi lang artist and artist, pwede rin namang academic person and artist. A great example, actually, yung ginawa ng World Health Organization for COVID, wherein nag-publish sila ng isang parang main website or something, or main resource wherein all the information that everyone has to know is right there. Tapos nagkaroon sila ng open call for creatives to do whatever they can to spread the word out. That's great. Next slide. Well, yun lang naman yung tips ko actually. So magpa-plug lang ako. <laughs> Next slide. First, sticker tag along. Uh, gumawa ng, fan- ng fundraiser wherein I was able to gather over 70 local artists to submit one sticker design each. Yung, yung isa actually, Max, I graduate din. Cool. Shout out kay Kay. Tapos, lahat ng profits dun sa sticker packs na binibenta namin ay makakatulong sa small businesses wherein, alam niyo naman yung COVID, my gosh, yung effects niya to small businesses. A lot of small businesses are closing down because of the quarantine and the lockdown. So, we might as well help them out. Next. Send my visual. Yes, my visual! <laughs> Fundraiser for LGBT and non-LGBT org. So this is Color Z, part of nito. It's a digital zine featuring works about coming out. So LGBT-centered siya. Tapos lahat kami, 20 local LGBT Gen Z artists. Tapos if you're interested in getting a copy, a digital copy, just go to Color Zine PH on the socials to know more. All donations goes to different organizations like Golden Gates of Manila, yung mga lolong drag queens. Um, Workers of Today X Future, it's a it's a nightclub in Cubao. Tapos then closed down sila because of COVID. Wink, wink. And then we're also giving to Piston, the GP drivers. Yeah. Next slide. Lastly, junk terror law now. I, I just have to point this out na kasi this is a an art related um talk. I must point out na etong junk etong terror law is very dangerous to our freedom of speech and as artists parang it's very ironic na na we'll ask for freedom of speech tapos we'll keep quiet about ano, terror law so don't be a hypocrite junk terror law now everyone will be silenced and that's not good for us artists and creatives that's all wag muna yung next slide wag muna yung next slide may announcement ako later <laughs> after the Q&A <laughs> yes that's all for me. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you, Kuya Gian. So, so, <laughs> so, thanks for that with a uh, with a powerful ending. Yeah. Yeah, we, we must keep that into, you know, we must remember those. Ano, no? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, with that done, we can now call on our second speaker, second speaker, yeah, Miss Gia Jarin. If you could please Our turn blessing. on your mic yes. and your camera. Hand. The floor is yours. Hello, rinig pa ako? Yes. yes po, Loud and clear po, Ate Gia. Okay. okay, thank you. I'll just fix my new PowerPoint. Okay. Kita ba? Yeah. Kita. Yes po. Yes, okay. kita. kita. Okay, okay. So, 
Hi guys! Good afternoon! Um, ako si Gia ng Gia Artful sa Instagram and ngayon I will also be sharing my experiences pero sa digital art naman. So yun nga, graduate ako sa Maxay last year 2019 and right now I'm taking up BA Organizational Communication sa UP Manila. And ayun, this is how I found my way. Yay! Yun. So, Sobrang um, struggle talaga na mag-balance ng time, especially since science high school tayo. So I definitely understand what you guys are going through. It's a struggle talaga na mag-grow and um, mag-improve as an artist. Kung busy ka rin sa pag ng research paper or sa pag ng problem set sa math and sa physics. <laughs> Nahirapan din ako nung umpisa, nag-start lang din ako sa pag-doodle, sa notebook kapag di ko get some lesson, gano'n. But my first encounter sa Photoshop was grade 8 um, during ICT class. Um, Doon ako na-in love sa digital art and sa design. Uh, ever since no naging bida-bida na ako, palagi ako nag-volunteer na gumawa ng visual Excuse me, gumawa ng visual kapag may group project or kapag may kailangan gawin yung ITCG. So lahat kukunin ko yan. PowerPoint, um, short film, poster, pubmat, lahat yan kukunin ko. <laughs> Kasi dun ko lang nalalabas yung pagka-extra ko. <laughs> and dun ko rin siguro na papatunayan sa sarili ko na meron pala akong ambag sa lipunan. <laughs> Kasi um, there's a lot of pressure to excel in Maxay. And for someone like me na hindi talaga forte yung math, yung science, sa arts and language subjects talaga ako pumabawi. So I guess um, my tip for you guys is to plant your seed. Meaning kung curious ka about art or if you want to try art, then go. <laughs> Push mo yan girl, grab your pen, pencil, brush, whatever is available to you and just start. Kapag merong opportunity na binibigay sa inyo to express yourself through art, whether it's acting, singing, sketching, maganon, then grab that chance kasi not a lot of people are given the opportunity to learn and not a lot of people are given the opportunity to express themselves. So, plant your seed. Yon. <laughs> um, next is discipline and practice. So, Feeling ko sa maraming tao yung nag-underestimate yung power na nagagawa ng pagpa-practice every day. Um, I'm sure nag-agree kayo sa akin na art is a process and that you can't really rush it. Yung pinaka nagamit ko talaga ng practical skills sa Maxay is um, multitasking, time management, tsaka yung pag-set ko ng schedule sa mga bagay-bagay. Baka isipin niyo kasi masyadong OA or masyadong strict yung pagkakaroon ng schedule. But I promise you, sobrang helpful niya, especially kapag nito-juggle ka with art and academics. So yung ginawa ko nung umpisa is nag-set lang ako ng mga um, 30 minutes to 1 hour ng pa-practice lang ng digital art. And then ever since that, naging habit ko na that I set time for myself and that I set time for my passion and hobbies. Pero syempre ngayon, it's understandable kapag hindi natin magagawa yung gusto natin gawin kasi nasa kalagit na tayo ng pandemic, right? So, it's okay kapag hindi ka productive kasi nakaka-overwhelm talaga yung mga nangyayari sa paligid natin ngayon. And um, it's already a privilege if you have time for yourself. But ideally, even just 5 minutes or 15 minutes na manonood ka ng YouTube video, magdududal ka or magsasketch ka, Sobrang helpful na rin nun. Maxay um, also helped me find out how I can be different and how I can stand out. Parang ganun. Kasi tulad yung sinabi ko sa previous slide, merong stereotype na kapag sa science high school ka nag-aaral, pwede ka lang mag-excel sa um, math, sa science, and I wanted to prove people wrong by <laughs> excelling sa humanities na field. And I'm sure na Marami rin maksay people ang gumagawa rin nun. So make sure that you um, figure out the advantages that are unique to you and how you can use them. Kasi malay mo yung mga advantages na yun yung makakakilala pa sa'yo as an artist and makaka-inspire pa sa ibang tao. Um, for example, ako, nag-start out ako sa digital art. Actually, hanggang ngayon, gamit ko lang is mousepad at Photoshop CS5. Sobrang lumang model. And 
eventually that weird process helped me reach a wider audience and nakapag-realize pa ako sa mga tao na, ah, you can start digital art pala kahit na wala kang mamahaling gadgets or kahit wala kang mamahaling software. Ayun, discipline and practice. <laughs> Ayan, so what changed after I graduated Maxi is parang nagkaroon ako ng confidence sa sarili ko and how um, confidence in what I do. Kasi dapat talaga physical therapy yung kukulit kong course sa college. Pero tingnan mo naman ako ngayon, di ba? <laughs> um, uh, meron akong art account sa Instagram. May um, open ako for commissions. I'm doing freelance work sa small businesses. Tapos communication course pa yung kinuha ko. So sobrang 180 degrees yung turn. And, pero hindi ko naman pinagsisihan. So I guess this is for you. If you're struggling to figure out what path you're going to take for college, um, I guess, kailangan natin sirain yung stereotype na dalawang path lang yan, STEM or arts. You can choose both, you can choose the other one and pursue pa rin yung isa. There's a lot of paths that you can take. Basta, it's totally okay kapag mag yung pangarap mo sa buhay as long as pinag-isipan mo siya ng mabuti, as long as alam mong magaling ka naman doon, and as long as you know you can help people through your dreams. Ayan. Ito na. So, <clears throat> I might be too specific dito. So, magdi-disclaimer lang ako na you don't have to do these things. Especially if gagamitin mo lang yung platform mo for self-expression. Ako kasi gagamitin ko yung uh, Instagram account ko as a portfolio to show clients and companies. So, this is for anyone who plans to do the same. Yan. So, sobrang helpful kapag consistent ka sa kung kailan ka mag-post and kung regular ka nagpo-post. Kasi it gives you more exposure and it shows that you're being active dun sa platform na yun. Um, what I did nung umpisa before ako gumawa ng art account is naghanda mo na ako ng limang artworks in advance para everyday akong makakapag-post. Um, nakakatulong din if ginawa mong business profile yung account mo sa Instagram kasi if you do that, merong bibinig... Mer May binibigay sa inyo na parang insights na settings, meaning you can see kung what day and what time nagiging active yung audience mo. So that gives you an idea of when's the right time to post, when's the right time to engage. Ganun. Ito, one of the biggest things that I realized nung sumali ako sa online art community is na it's not always about you. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, hindi pa laging sa yung nakatutok ng spotlight. Kasi marami kang makikilalang magagaling na artists. Tapos marami pang taong todo support sa works mo kahit di mo sila kilala. Sobrang wholesome and sobrang ganda ng community. And it's a privilege if you're a part of it, right? So, what I realized is you're not just there para mag-post and mag-promote ng sarili mong works. You're also there to engage with other people, to talk to artists, and to support them as well. So make sure na i-enjoy mo yung art community kasi hindi siya competition ng paramihan ng likes or paramihan ng followers or something. Um, it's a community, right? So make sure that you're genuine kapag, um, when you're building bonds with people and make sure that you give more than you take. Ayun. Ayan, ito. About commissions, yung golden rule is you should know your value as an artist meaning you don't sell your artworks for a lower price than it should be. Kasi may mga artists na nagbibenta ng artwork nila for as low as 50 pesos. And alam naman natin na yung problem doon, ikaw yung malulugi, ikaw yung mapapagod, tapos at the end of the day, sa tingin mo, hindi magiging worth it yung um, pagod mo yung effort mo doon sa commission na yun. So make sure that you price your works well, if that makes sense. Um, I also suggest na bago kayo mag-open for commissions, kailangan confident na kayo sa art style niyo and kailangan meron kayong variety, variety of works na mapapakita sa mga tao so that they can trust you and that they can trust your reputation. Yeah, educate people. Um, I think it's um, obvious na <laughs> kailangan natin maging mabait. <laughs> I mean, um, let's be compassionate to clients and to people na makakasalamuha natin sa community. Meron kasi yung experience na may nag-message sa akin from a small business. 
parang nagalit sila noong una kung bakit ang taas daw ng presyo ng pinapakomisyon nila kahit ang sobrang simple lang ng hinihingi nila. But commission rates should be higher kasi if they're for businesses or for work kasi you're helping them build their brand. So, syempre, yung initial response natin, magagalit tayo. <laughs> or minsan, i-ignore na natin yung offer nila, right? That's what I wanted to do first. But after I calmly explained to them naman yung situation, nag-offer pa sila ng mas mataas sa pinag-usapan namin presyo. So, I guess the takeaway from that is um, be kind <laughs> and to don't miss the chance to use your platform to educate people, not just about art, but about yung society issues or your advocacies kasi people might not know what they need to know, right? So, for example lang nun is, ayan, hashtag solution medical and hashtag no student left behind. Don't uh, miss the chance to use your platform to let people know kung ano yung kailangan ba talagang malaman. Do your art. Ayan. Purpose and passion. So, feeling ko naman, lahat tayo nag-experience ng art blocks. <laughs> but when people ask me how I overcome them, um, sinasabi ko na lang na I remind myself of my purpose. Baka isipin niyo kasi masyadong cheesy or masyadong corny, but it really helps if you remind yourself kung bakit mo ba ginagawa yung ginagawa mo? What made you want to do it in the first place? And um, sino ka ba as an artist? Kasi if your heart has the wrong purpose, for example, gumagawa ka lang para sa ibang tao or for praise, then eventually, madidrain ka lang and you won't be happy with what you're doing. Um, your purpose kasi will also help you build your identity as an artist. Um, di kasi napapansin ng mga tao minsan na dito na pumapasok yung branding na sinasabi nila. Kasi branding is more than just the colors or style or the fonts that you use. It's more on how you want to make people feel when they see your artworks and your advocacies that you speak through your art. Pero, sabi nga ni Kuya Gian kanina, we can't always be motivated. Sobrang imposible naman yun na araw-araw sobrang passionate mo. So, it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to rest. But after you recharge, make sure na mag-drawing ka ulit. You get back up and just draw ulit. Kasi your discipline to improve will help you will help you grow, <laughs> if that makes sense. Basta, um, magpahinga lang kayo kapag so yung magpahinga or kapag kailangan for your mental health. But make sure that you remind yourself of your purpose and you put your heart into what you do. And lastly, of course, your art journey and your art style is valid. So don't be too hard on yourself kasi you might already be doing better than you think. Nung una talaga, sobrang doubtful ako kung magaling ba talaga ako sa ginagawa ko. Kasi merong stereotype sa atin na if hindi ka magaling sa traditional art or kapag hindi semi-realism or realism yung style mo, sasabihan ka talaga na hindi ka magaling sa drawing. And you shouldn't let people make you feel inferior and you shouldn't let people invalidate you for what you do. Kasi all art styles and all art mediums are unique and wonderful and that's what makes art beautiful, right? Kasi may diversity na nagagawa niya. So make sure that na na-enjoy niyo yung journey niyo as an artist and to celebrate your small victories kasi we're always a work in progress and I'm quite sure na you'll do great things someday. Oops. Kaya chill ka lang, huwag niyong madalian yung buhay. <laughs> Ayun, so what's next for me I guess is um, kapag okay na yung sitwasyon ng bansa natin and everything is that I join conventions. Gusto ko rin magbenta ng stickers and hopefully publish my own storybook sa December or next March. But wala akong magsabi ng information. Pero ayun, thank you guys. Sana may naintindihan kayo. I didn't want to make things too specific kasi baka maging boring or baka mag-overtime. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate na tanongin yan mamaya. Ayun lang, remember to have a humble heart. Remember to focus on your growth and um, to keep creating and encouraging people. Ayun lang, ako si Gia ulit ng Gia Artful and I hope that you find your way too. Thank you! Okay, so thank you Ate Gia. Okay. Wait. Thank you for <laughs> sharing your um, knowledge. For sharing your story and your everything. Own. Yes, really appreciate it. Okay, so next Ashley. Okay, so now we can move on to our uh, third and final speaker, um, Mr. 
LG Aseho. Yeah. Yes. Yours? Hello, Hello. Uh, I'll just, Thank you. Yeah, present the thing. Mm -hmm. By the way, I am with my boyfriend. Since mm -hmm. the lockdown started, we have been together. Which is this? Share. Let me notice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kita na. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Kita na ba? Yes, po kuya LG. Yes, pa. Okay. Okay, oh my god, I'm so scared. Anyway, so for my part, it's mostly just cuento. Uh, I could give more insightful, helpful advice later in the Q&A, or like, must targeted or must specific. So, ayon, I'm an artist. This is me, I'm cute. And this is so far what I've done throughout my journey in art and life. So, ayon, I started out in Maxi. During my first years in Maxi, parang I was just, eh, I'm just study, I'm just like, just do purely acads, not join, yung mga parang, ang tawag dyan, sa mga jingas, yung mga performative extracurricular, curriculars. Okay. <laughs> Pero, eventually, parang, Naisipin na parang sayang if I don't try it. And then I tried it once mga around grade 8 ni Nutri Jingle. And then it turned out to be very fun. And then I guess that's where Maxi helps you with your creativity then. And yeah, and ever since then, nagtuloy-tuloy lang siya. Uh, eventually nasali ako sa trash on and sa Mr. English. Uh, and yeah, I was both second place for those. So it's nice. You know, and it helps you with art then. So Shampre, I wasn't alone in crafting these sparrow. Yeah, it's a way of expressing yourself. And then during my stay in Maxi then, uh Nasalir Nausa program in Ateneo. And there parang I was able to carry over what I've learned in Maxi. Uh, in Maxi, I only no force ako, as in like force ako to join cheer dance. Uh, like na message ako out of nowhere. Sali ka ako lang kami ng boys. So ano? So malio ako. And ever since then, parang every year na ako nakasali dun sa batch ko, and I brought that over to uh, Ateneo, and ayon it was a success. We all had fun, and ayon rin. This is like, you know, not just art per se, not like just drawings, but also the art where you perform and where you express your creativity. Because, you know, art is not limited to just one thing. Art is basically uh, how you express yourself or a way to like tell other people what you feel or how you think. And then also during my same Max, I, uh, I was able to get an internship at Institute of Biology and Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, sa UP Diliman. And ayon, syempre, science, science, biology, you know. <laughs> Pero ayon, in my same Max, I then I realized na science is also an art. Like, I don't know, the picture in the left, it's so pretty. I was like, shit, that's so pretty. And you can't really just parang hiwalay science and art. And I guess that's my inspiration to start with my business. My business. Uh, <laughs> Volsky Science and Art. So Volsky has my drawings of internal organs. Because like, it's pretty much what I'm good at. So I'm not really good at like digital art. So I'm at the traditional side, just drawing. And then I on my first drawing was the heart. Uh, it was in an SSG meeting. <laughs> that was eh yung sinisabi ni Sir Sandoval noon. Hindi naman ako part. So I was just <laughs> I'm gonna just draw. So yon, it turned out to be great. And that's it. I didn't do anything 
about it na until parang one day I was in a meeting dun sa foundation I was working at and then I showed it to one of my co-ambassadors and then she was like what the what the hell like sell these you know and so when I first made art I didn't think of uh how I could use it as a business I needed someone else to tell me like she literally like, dragged me to national bookstore and was like eto kunin mo to and she gave me this like blank index cards and that's how I started yung cards ko ngayon they're like printed at this printer with official card paper pero when I started it was just a blank index cards I was going to this internet shop to go like kaya magkano pa print nito kung dito tas hirap na hirap siya kasi it's not the usual papers that and when I started then it had this white border so you know and everyone starts somewhere and you don't start somewhere nice ka agad it doesn't have to be perfect you just have to start and yon eventually uh now that I'm in UP I founded an org as well UP Entrepreneurship Society sa UP Manila kasi walang ganung org wala ring art org as far as I know na active so that's what I plan with the org na I founded. So yeah, and with Volsky at the Young Sample Arts. Kita naman eh, kita eh. Also, uh, I can't take credit to like the lines here. Well, not all. Uh, I asked help then, so that's an important thing to know. Yeah, you work with other people then. So, ayon, because of Volsky, I was able to go to Singapore at the scholarship. Uh, it was this business program thing, uh, summer program on entrepreneurship sa National University of Singapore. So there, I was able to present yung ano ko, business, the artworks. And, and it was fun. You get, because of it, I got to like learn more about the business side. Uh, marketing, how to improve my products, distribution as well. And I also got to meet other delegates. So, ayon, more connection. So, always find, well, always find. Most of the time, find ways to make connections to uh, bigger your circle, your network, so that uh, you have more people you could ask help from and you have more people to uh, no, give help as well. Kasi, you're also building your own expertise. So each person has its own expertise and that's how you could help each other. Yeah, so now that I'm in UP, what's next with my business is I plan to expand. So this one's, uh, these are not my work. So what I learned from Singapore is how to expand my business. Uh, I could sell art for other people as well. Kasi nga, diba, my thing is science and art. So, syempre, I can't encompass all of science. Uh, yun nga, first, I don't know how to do digital art. So, that's like a whole part that I can't do. And I can't cover. So, that's where other people can come in. Uh, it will be like a mutual thing. I sell their art for them under my brand, Volsky, Science and Art. And then, they get uh recognition they get paid for their work then i get a small commission as well for selling it for them and that's how business works then let's go on to like i guess final tips first is to define is not necessarily to limit so you know we come from a stem high school but that doesn't mean now we can't expand to art we can't expand to business uh the limitation is just what you can think of. Uh, yeah, if you want something, then there are ways to do it. Uh, if it's your passion, especially, uh, go for it if it's where you're happy. Then next, remember your word. So, uh, nasabi na to kanina by Gia. Like, yeah. Pero, I guess what I can add is, yeah, be a bit more confident with what you can do. And don't be too afraid of risks. So, di ba nga, I got into the ano, scholarship program sa National University of Singapore. 
and I had to go through this long application and I just had to believe in myself and I had to work as well and and I got in because I had that right level of confidence and then lastly you aren't alone so you know I I didn't know how to use Photoshop like zero knowledge back when I started like diba, I drew that hard thing then I didn't know how to bring it into print so I had I I know I asked help from my classmate C Gina Reg Abdao and she was very helpful and she taught me how to do it once and I you know I was able to do it for all my products now so I know you aren't alone and to end be good be brave and be safe so this is what I learned that's my prof back in Ateneo uh, be good in what you do be good to others and be good to yourself and then be brave again with uh, be confident but don't be too proud champre don't be afraid to take risks and then be safe as well yeah that ends my presentation and I am proud to say that I'm an artist from Maxi. Okay, thank you for that, Kuya LG, for that oh, sure. uh, empowering and powerful message. So, um, <laughs> with all of our speakers now having finished um, their presentation, uh, we may now move on to the next part of our uh, webinar, which is the Q&A. So before um, we do that, that, though, I, I would like to thank our speakers for imparting your knowledge and experiences to our uh, dear Makati Science High School students. So, yeah, your uh, words and your messages and your tips, your tricks, your everything you've told us today, I hope uh, our audiences will take that to heart and carry it with them wherever they go in life. So, okay, so before we proceed to our question and answer portion, I think we have something to present, right, Ashley? Uh, yes. Okay. So we will be moving into our intermission uh, portion, uh, to, our, to an intermission, to a quick intermission. But before that, I would like to remind all of the audiences that you can type your comments during this intermission. You can type your comments on the chat uh, on the chat box. Uh, you may type your questions there, and after the intermission, the speakers will be answering your questions. So, is the intermission ready? We will now play it. Play. Okay, it. but before that, before that, Ashley, you know, um, the messages of the speakers, you know, um, our Maxi students, you know, should really remember those since. Yung mga ate, kuya nila, they experience these problems, no? They experience um, being cre being creative in Maxay, but in the same time, hindi nakakompromise yung grades nila, right? Yeah, so parang, that's, 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 the, really most, great fate to that's keep, the most no? impressive part. <laughs> and, you know, it's not only restricted to arts, to those people na creative lang. Of course, I think we relate to those students na maraming extra core, diba? extracurricular activities na... Mm -hmm. um, Hindi parang some people they have the passion to help the teachers make some programs, um, lead other student organizations. But at the same time, maintain pa rin yung grades nila. No, it's very, it's a very nice thing to hear from our speakers. No, that they they also experience those things. Pero di naman di naman sila nagkaroon ng problema, right? Mm, yeah, they persevered through that, and you know after nung after all of that after they grew up in this. Uh, in a, again, uh, as we said, the STEM-focused school, they have uh, businesses now. So, Kuya Gian was, uh, there you go, he, he went on to make uh, artworks and design work for a magazine. Uh, Ate Gia now is, uh, has uh, an, art, uh, an art account, an art business, and so is Kuya LG with uh, this brand of, uh, I believe it's a collaboration for a bunch of artists that combines uh, science and art together, right? So, yeah, those are, uh, 
it's impressive and it's inspiring what they've what they've done and what they're continuing to do right now. Indeed. So I think our intermission number is all is now ready. Our technical. Can we play our intermission? Yes. So for everyone, um, this what we are going to present is a work of Tatiana Alexi Austria. Tatiana Austria. Yep. Yeah. And this is a very this is an example of how we should use our platform how to send the message. Yes. Okay. So. Panahon ng patriarka sa Pilipinas ay patapos na. Konsumato mest! Martial law on each and every one of you. Okay, so again, so, this uh, animation, this whole animation was made by our batchmate, Tatiana Austria. So thank you for that. Okay, so guys, um, again, just like what our speakers have mentioned, art is, not, um, art is not only meant to impress people, but also can also be used as a medium for, the, to our, for us to express what needs to be heard and what needs to be fixed, okay? So now, um, after, so we're done with our intermission. Now let's proceed to our question and answer. Um, speakers, are we ready? Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so now we're just waiting for our audience members to start asking questions and we will read them and the speakers will answer them. So while we wait, I think uh, we ourselves have our own questions. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that I, some of the some of uh, the people in our ITCG team have their own questions. So I'll just go through that, and we can start the Q and A. Okay. So should I? Okay. So I think I'll ask first. Okay, Ashki, I'm gonna I'm gonna proceed with this question. So this question mm -hmm. was asked um last webinar. But as per, so, so the person who asked this requested that this should be also asked this time, okay? So this is from Christine Saldivar. How do you decide to put a price on your commissions? In my case, I'm too shy to ask for anything or name a price because I believe I'm not a professional. Again, how do you decide to put a price on your commissions? In my case, I'm too shy to ask for anything or name a price because I believe I'm not a professional. So to our speakers, who'd like to go first? <laughs> by age, by age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Wait, ascending or descending? <laughs> no, descending. Go, Gia. No. Ascending. Go, Ate Gia. Um... Oh, kasi iba-iba yata yung prices kapag commissions. So, sa, sa akin lang, kasi digital art, I don't know kung paano si Kuya LG at si Kuya Gian mag-price commission, syempre. Kasi iba yung, iba yung field na gano'n. So, yung sa akin, um, minsan, hindi, minsan, I usually time, for example, uh, self-portraits. 
Tapos, usually, mga dalawang oras ko siya nagagawa. So, tinitake into consideration ko yung time kung, and kung yung effort, if you put shadows, or if you put color, syempre, mas mataas dapat yung price. Tapos, helpful din kapag nag-paste ka rin sa iba pang artists na similar din sa field mo, para ma-check mo rin kung pares or similar kayo ng pricing. Yun lang. <laughs> Okay. Right. Thank you for that, Atajia. So, who's uh, who's up next? Ascending age. <laughs> we are LG. Uh, I don't really do commissions except for that one time that I did commissions on watercolor paintings of pets. Just that's yeah, that's what I can do. And the way I priced it is, I thought. Uh, how much time do I spend in making one? And if I wasn't doing this, what else could I have been doing? And how much worth is that? You know, and so that's, that's the only thing I know on commissions. So products naman, kasi that's mainly what I have. Uh, yung prints, stickers, cards. Uh, my strategy is not really look at the price of production. Siyempre, that's, you know, it should be uh, required that uh, the price of product is less than the price you're selling it at. But I look mainly at uh, how much it's selling in the market, how much this product is selling, and that's how you price it. You either match or compete. Or if you're if you're like putting a premium on your product, then that's when you put it at a higher price. Because that's also a strategy on its own. So I guess ako na. Yes. <laughs> so um, pricing commissions. I honestly don't do that much commissions to BH. Pero ano? Um, I guess because, ba? I think everyone's looking for a certain number or a certain amount, and I would like to, parang si. I, I don't think na merong merong tamang amount per se pero if you're going to do commissions at least minimum kahit ano pa yan 500 pesos ang i-charge nyo kahit na social media post lang yan kahit na uh, wag logo wag 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 kayong mag 500 pesos sa logo walang walang ganun girl walang ganun <laughs> <laughs> pero pero ayun if maybe like yung mga self portraits nga or illustrations oh kasi i don't do that eh. so i guess 500 is good pero okay, sobrang ganda rin sinabi nila na check out other artists price um ano tawag dun? price list as well kasi pwede ka rin naman maki ano dun, maki ride sa mga ganun pero ayun nga kung no go mag 500 Okay. One. <laughs> one one hour and one time. Go go. Yan. Yan or blogger or whatever. Yun yung signature nila. So it mm. has like a very big um meaning or and I don't know what to call it. Pero malaki yung responsibility ng tao charge less for that. <laughs> okay, so thank you for that, speakers. So, ayun, narinig nyo nga. You price it based on how you value yourself and how that art should be valued. Because, basically, don't again, be shy. Sa, yeah, don't be shy. That's what I'm saying, and especially sa logo, don't be afraid to price it high because that's that's gonna be used all the time by the corporation or the and yes, company that uses it. So what do you think? You are actually helping them build their brand. So you mm. deserve a cut of what they're going to earn. Yeah. So like you must dapat uh, pagkamahiya, like makapal dapat mo ka mo. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, syempre, um dapat in a proper way dapat yeah. Yeah. So, should be it should be the, when the, when they ask um 
uh, what's your price, your response should be, uh, what's your budget? Pwede, pwede, actually. Right. So, pwede. you know, you know how, how much they can pay. So now we actually, uh, we're starting to have questions in the chat box. So now uh, let's go through them. First question is from uh, Juris Prince or Dehan. So what motivates you or what gives you courage to do stuff like your artwork and keep improving the whole way of the journey? And tips for your artworks, please. So, so <laughs> ascending <laughs> I agree naman na ako. <laughs> Kailang, basahin ko lang ulit yung ano. Courage. Okay. For aesthetics kasi, my art brand, I make fun of what considered or as aesthetic. So, kaya low tone, kaya gradient. Kasi parang if you search, I don't know, aesthetic on Tumblr or Pinterest, most likely may makikita kang ganun na kind of typography or sticker or poster design. So gusto kong pagkaripan yung mga, yung mga ganung bagay. Kasi parang ang, ang design kasi for me is not just to make things pretty or parang wow, ang ganda. Sobrang babaw nun for me. So, parang functionality rin kasi sana yung tinitignan. Like, kaya I like layouts as well. Kasi, you know, it's your job to make information like understandable. So, hindi lang siya, parang, sige, maganda nga, pero parang concept-wise, it's so low. For example, yung mga nagpo-post ngayon ng mga junk terror law now, tapos parang paulit-ulit lang. Tapos like, okay, ang ganda ng font, the end, eh di wow, ang, ang babaw eh. So, din yun yung parang motivation ko for aesthetics. I make fun of those kinds of things because I don't want to see them. <laughs> in, on ter- in terms of improving, um, I do research sometimes. Like, every year, nag-research ako ng graphic design trends. Kasi meron namang, nag, although hindi naman siya nagbabago every year na sobrang parang lala, parang gradients were a thing since 2016 pa and until now, ginagamit pa rin siya. So, it's still relevant. So, hindi naman kailangan like sobrang lala, nung, sobrang intense nung pag-research mo. Especially when it comes to trends. Because yung trends naman, Usually, hindi naman masyadong run ka rapid yung pag, pag-change. So yeah, do research and try it out yourself. Okay, so thank you po, Pejian. So who's next sa order natin? <laughs> okay, sige, so LG. Okay, so what initially motivated me to make art? Well, sell art was ano to make money because uh, <laughs> situation na I kind of had to do it uh, maybe some of you are familiar naglayas ako pero you know pero eventually I couldn't just ano like, make that the sole motivation it's very tiring it makes you just want to like like not do it anymore Uh, that's ano kasi, I started with greeting cards talaga. I didn't start. I didn't have prints, the educational ones. Then ayon, eventually I realized na oh with my art I could make science, uh, science education more accessible. So that's when I came up with my prints, my information sha. It's consumable. It's it's very nice when like I'm in a con. Tapos there's this mom who go like, ooh, my kid would love this, ganon. So, I know, it gives you a nice feeling na, oh, you're helping spread education, spread science. And then, another motivation I found na only presented itself when I was selling at a convention as well, uh, I was selling the prints. Tapos someone approached me and was like, ooh, I have a heart condition, I'll buy the heart. So, ayun, it helps them as well, coping with 
what they have, and it, it's a trend then. It wasn't just that one isolated case. It's one of, oh no, why people buy my art as well. Yeah. Okay, so thank you, Pukuya LG. Now for our ano, youngest. <laughs> so are there? Ate Gia. Ate Gia. How about you? Pass. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, parang ganun din with Kuya LG. Um, nakaka-fulfill kasi kapag, ano ba, um, uh, how do I say this? Nabang nag-post. Tapos may magsasabi, oh, that's so cute, gano'n. Tapos, um, siguro full feeling lang kapag you know that you get to make people's day kahit na gano'ng kasimpleng bagay. Yan Okay, so thank you for that, speakers. Thank you for those answers. So now, you won. Okay, so for our next question... This is from Kay Avellano. What are some unpopular art opinions you have? So before again, you answer that, before you guys answer that, I just, this was uh, posted, I believe, right? On our Twitter account? Yes. All right. So now. So some, from, we, from the speakers themselves. Mm -hmm, yes. For the speakers themselves. They can now answer this. Okay. So again, what are some unpopular art opinions you have? So who's going to start? From the youngest, okay, shall we start with the youngest, Ate Gia? Unpopular opinion. Oh, okay, okay. From okay. Uh, un unheard. Un yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, siguro kailangan lang malam, nabanggit ko rin siya kanina na, di ba mayroong stereotype sa atin na, kapag hindi ka magaling mag traditional art or kapag hindi mo kang totoo yung artwork mo minsan sa sabi ka na ang oh, magaling ka ba talaga mag drawing so I think an unpopular opinion siguro is um same lang yung kung baga every artist gives their all kung ano mang art style man yun kasi ako for example more on cartoonish yung art style ko so I guess I want people to know na I put the same effort, uh, just like the others, and sana mas appreciative sila dun sa field na yun. Yun lang. Okay, so I believe um, Kuya Gian, Kuya Gian was uh, raising his yeah, hand raising earlier. Hand. <laughs> we weren't able to see it, sorry. No, wait, wait. Before, sorry. Uh, unahin muna natin okay. si Kuya Gian. Yeah, I think he... he I think you have to be excited. Tea is a tea. 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 Well, first of all, um, I mentioned yung art PH hashtag kahapon, eh, nung the other day. And I think it's a nice way for us to promote ourselves. Pero at the same time, I hate it so much. Hindi ako nagpo-post. And you're not also required to post regularly. I mean, this, ano, this is kind of contradicting Gia's advice, in my opinion. Kasi diba sabi niya na uh, post regularly. Ako naman, uh, post if you want to, or if you made something. Di naman, I mean, maganda na actually na regular, pero hindi naman kailangan na makiride sa lahat ng trends na, na or prompts na binibigay. Like, for example, recently, I think Darna was a thing. So, like, everyone made, like, a Darna, their own Darna. Like, ano yung itsura ni Darna? sa art style nila or kahit anong shape body shape or whatever or color of skin whatever so that was parang the next week Filipina na naman and I'm like girl you don't have to join all the prompts mapapag ka rin eh and I see that the, my artist friends on Twitter are like oh my god ang daming ang daming hashtag 
I'm so tired. Nadadrain sila eh. So parang, ayun, parang don't, you don't have to join all of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, oh my God. Eh, dito, dito na ako masasapak, I guess. Uh, don't sell your fan art, utang na loob. Uh, that's true. I, I don't, I'm so against it. This, medyo business to, okay? Pero... Hi, Tito Badong. <laughs> when it comes to... Ano kasi? When it comes to... Um, <laughs> bakit? May kasa pa? O may galit na ba? <laughs> Pero ayun. Um, fa- I'm not saying don't do fan art. It, it's a nice way to practice. Sobra. And I can't do... And I'm not saying na... What you're doing is easier. It's because I can't do it myself. So, parang what? So, ang sinasabi ko lang is like, if you're going to sell merch, please do your original art. Because it's so unfair for artists doing original stuff. Tapos sila, um, hindi sila magkakaroon ng ganon kalaking spotlight compared to people who does fan art. So, um, mahirap. Mahirap for us. And it's also kinda, I know, it's also kinda um, contradicting na, especially if you're that kind of artist who would say na support local, eh, what you're trying to do is kinda not highlighting the local art community and you're giving a highlight to something western or like something korean or something not local so yeah selling fan arts is illegal actually Totoo yun. <laughs> although there are plat i hate that my platforms for that like sticker con comic it and the stores it's themselves. I hate that they allow it. Ayun, those are my unpopular opinions. Kung gusto niya kung hindayin sa labas, thank God, webinar to. <laughs> <laughs> Mag-send kayo ng uh, virtual na suntok kay Kuya Gias, if you want. Send your death threats to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Kuya Gian. Next up, we have Kuya LG. Uh... I share that sentiment with, I don't know, selling fan art, I guess. I don't know, because I attend Comic Cat and other cons, and it's kind of hard then. Like, it's my own experience now. I don't get, like, parang, it's hard to sell your own originals uh, with so many competitors na ganun. Yun lang, pero also, uh, my own opinion on a man on unpopular art opinion is there is such a thing as bad art. <laughs> art has intentions. So if your intention is misinformation, then I think that's bad art. Like if there's art saying no, oh, Cindy Villar is good. Oh my God, the terrible is like beneficial. Then that is bad art. You know. Okay, thank you for that, speakers, for those answers. Hey, wait, so, may isa pa ano. <laughs> hot take, uh, my hot take pa ako. Pang hirit. Okay, last. Okay. Okay, okay. Followers is not equal to quality of art. Hindi porket marami kang followers na nagsasabi sa'yo, ang ganda ng art mo. Girl, hindi ibig sabihin na maganda yung gawa mo. Yung iba dyan, nagko-comment na, ang galing-galing mo talaga. Girl, hindi. <laughs> <laughs> ako na yung nagsasabi kasi, oh my God, may friend akong ganun. <laughs> ang dami yung followers sa Twitter and then people are like, Ang galing talaga ng works mo, girl. That is so low quality. And alam kong nakagawa na siya ng something better. Because I've seen those works na are actually better. Stop. Yeah, name drop. RPM mo sa. Name drop. Uh, 
Ang pangalan niya. <laughs> Pero, ayun. That's my last day. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so thank you for that speakers. And now we can move on to the next questions. So So Ashley, do the honors. <laughs> Kinabahan ako dun sa last na question na yun eh. <laughs> Ang daming Ashley. hot takes. <laughs> True. Um, <laughs> okay, so next Steve, question we have okay. is from uh, Alicia Eve Bermudez. So what steps did you go through to start your businesses? Also, thank you, Kuya Gian and Kuya LG. I have both your stickers mm-hmm. on my sketchbooks. Same. That's very... Ako din. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Okay, so who's well. going who's gonna to start with that? Ako na ba? <laughs> I, I feel like ako kasi yung mas malala na ano experience when it comes to business. So I guess I'll start. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Kuya. I don't know. Um, well, first is to define your brand. And that is what, I guess, ang number one guide question is, what do you want to be remembered for? And because you can't build a business. I mean, you can naman, pero mas maganda na may brand ka talaga. So, like, for example, aesthetics. People come for me for those witty um, stickers or yung tipong, oh, that's a mood. Or some people are like, wow, ang ganda naman ng stickers na to. Blah, blah, blah. Tapos, yun yung, ha- yun yung habol nila. So, other artists naman, I, for example, <laughs> ayaw mag-name drop. <laughs> Pero, may mga other artists na known for their fan art sadly <laughs> na for example puro k-pop groups yung stickers niya so kilala siya as like to <laughs> pero ayun like friend ko siya parang, <laughs> so ayun parang people would go to her because of kasi alam nilang they will see an a k-pop sticker. So, I guess dun yung, dun ka mag start talaga. Build your own brand. What do you want to do? And what um, do you want to be remembered for? And then, the rest kasi is really business na talaga. Business related. And I think that that goes to in line with your brand as well. So, for example, yung aesthetics. I make fun of what's aesthetic. So gusto ko yung mga mga yung gusto ko yung customers ko yung mala scout or mala pring <laughs> mga ganun yung mga fans of those ano of mga support local kaya yung mga stores na pinupun na sinasalihan ko are common room and craft central so those decisions are still in line with my brand so, for example, yung Korean, yung pro K-pop stickers, okay siya dun sa mga concept stores na nagbebenta ng Korean products as well. Kasi, di ba, in, in line. So, ayun, that, I guess that's where you should start off talaga. Okay, so thank you po, uh, Gian. So, next po. We'll go next. Sino next? <laughs> naunang, naunang magsalita si Kuya LG. So, si Kuya LG next. <laughs> so, I actually started sa Maxi talaga. As in, so, di ba, I started out with those greeting cards na just printed on blank index cards. And then, sa isang event, sa Maxi, I think it was a science event. Sci tech. Yeah. I had a booth. Parang... I had a collab with the org na, ooh, can I sell my products? Then you get a commission from letting me sell there. Because that's how I started. I had, uh, back at that time, printing cost 5 pesos. And so I was kung internet shop. Because I think an index card costed like around 1 peso or maybe a bit less than 1 peso. So ayun, at 6 pesos, that's I bought shot. 50 pesos from time na yun. Uh, I had, I know, I was able to get enough profit to, parang upscale naman my business. So I bought 
yung parang cutting board thing. So, nag-improve yung product ko. Imbes na index card na may border na white kasi may bleed yung printer sa internet shop. Ano na siya? It's an index card na, ano na, borderless. And then, yun lang. Just repeat that. Uh, trial and error. Eventually, I was at a con. And then, I met, do uh, you guys know Reyna Reyes? Yeah. She went to my table. Ano siya? Astrophysicist girl. Tapos, ayun, she went to my table. Then, nakita niya yung science and art stuff ko. And I was like, Wow, that's so cool. That's ayon from that nag collab na kami yung astronomy cards kanina. That's a collab with her. Siya yung parang magbibigay ng information sa likod noon. Kasi hindi ba, was he's about sharing information. Yun then, uh, to start your business, think of what your brand is and what is something that you can sacrifice. So for me, it's quality. Uh sure yung production ko would be a bit more costly. Pero, my products are quality. So, yeah, that's how I started. Alright, thank you for that, Kuya LG. So, Ate Gia, what about you? Wala kasi akong business. So, <laughs> ako ng commission. So, one of my sinabi Kuya GN and Kuya LG. So, <laughs> push <niyan. laughs> No, uh, what about uh, your um, your arts? Uh, what uh, what steps did you go through uh, go through to start doing that? To start taking um, before ako mag-open ng commission, gumawa mo na ako ng, nag-research mo na ako syempre. So I guess that's important. <laughs> Kailangan alam mo muna kung ano yung papasukin mo. And um, ano ko ba? Nag-start, nag-start ako. <laughs> I don't know what to answer na, sorry. Basta um, if you're going to open for commissions, um, make sure na maganda din yung, ay malinaw yung price list, if that makes sense. Para, um, how do I say that? Para maano agad yung mga magpapagawa sa'yo. But other than that, yun lang, okay na yun. Okay. So thank you, speakers. Ashley, now should we move on? Okay, to we our, can move on now to another question. Our next question. So this so one. This question. Okay, you go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is from J. R. Y. S. But to be honest, this is just Julian Reyes. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Who, who's I, that? I don't know. I don't know who's Julian that? Reyes too. Yo. Who's that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how did you find? or decide on your art styles po. As an illustrator, wow, I'm scared that once I find mine, I will feel restricted sa kind of art na pwede ko gawin. So again, how did you find or decide on your art styles po? As an illustrator, wow, I'm scared that once I find mine, I will feel restricted sa kind of art na pwede ko gawin. So who'd like to go first po? So to our speakers... I leave this question to LG and Gia because I'm not an illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pa. so between the two, sino pong gusto mauna? Again? Oh, no, pa na. Kanina pa ako yung gusto mo na. So, for my art style, it's just something with, na I'm comfortable with. It's not really something na I chose. Kasi di ba, I have uh, ink drawings. So, ayun lang. Uh, parang it's where I find it most fun. Then, sakta lang na it's also what I'm good at. And, yun lang. Also, again, from yung sa kanina, sa presentation ko, to define is not necessarily to limit. So, art style is not permanent. Uh, the yung mga classical artists are known for their faces in life now oh in this face they had this art style and in this one oh now they're something else so don't be afraid now you'll be limited to just one art style and it grows as well as you grow 
in making art. Okay, so thank you for that, Kuya LG. Ate Gia, what about you? Um, same sentiments lang din kay Kuya LG. Um, don't be afraid na mag-explore or mag-discover pa kasi yun nga, hindi naman permanent talaga yung art style and that shouldn't stop you to find out more and to discover more about yung um, sarili mo, sa skills mo. Na, discover, paano ba? Find, I'm still finding my art style. Pero ngayon, um, kasi may rig ako sa cartoons, ganyan, anime, chibi. So, siguro dun din ako na-inspire. So, kung saan ka masaya, kung saan ka na-inspire, I guess you should start with that, siguro. Yun lang. Alright, okay, so, thank you for that. Thank you. <clears throat> so, now let's move on to the next question. Again, go from... Ahead, Ashi. From JRYS. I don't know who this is. Who's that? Just, uh, yeah, keeps on populating the chat room. Uh, this one's specifically for Atijia. So, yeah. hi Atijia, <laughs> IG follower here. Ha ha ha. How did you get so many followers po so fast sa art account mo? Lodi. Also, do you plan po on creating a YouTube <laughs> slash Twitch channel? <laughs> Oh, grabe nang titrip. Sino ba ito si J.R.Y.S.? That's spam. That's spam. J.R.Y.S. That's spam. Sabi nga ni Kuya Gian, followers does not equate to... <laughs> so, hindi ko rin alam kung paano dumami. Dumami siya, girl. Yun na yun. Nagugulat din ako kapag... So, J.R.Y.S. is... Following, uh, may follow-up question siya, no? Na paano raw? Ano yung sinasabi nito? May pahabol pa siya, oh. Pero paano so, daw? Yeah. Oh. Pero paano? Ha, ha, ha. Paano, so, paano? Pa Actually, <laughs> talaga si J.R.Y.S. ng Google, no? <laughs> Siguro, ano, um, hindi ko alam, put yourself out there, gano'n. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Agree ako, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, hindi ko rin kasi alam. But, um, siguro, um, um, may relate na sa sinabi ni Kuya Gian kanina about sa pagiging consistent kung kailan ka magpo-post. Siguro, I didn't mean na pilitin mo sarili mo na magpo-post, uh -oh. uh -oh. gano'n. Pero kapag yeah. mag-start ka ng art account, and if you want talaga na mag-widen pa yung audience mo, kasi kung gumawa ng art account, or ng account, Ibig sabihin, you're committed to do those things. So, siguro sa, pag, sa start pa lang siguro, doon ka maging, ano ba, like regularly ka mag-post or mag-engage ka. And then once you build na yung audience or kapag um, marami ka na, or na-reach na yung post mo to a wider audience, then saka ka na mag-chill. Basta huwag mo pilitin sarili mo to post if you don't feel like it or kapag na ano yung mental health nila. I guess hindi pala ano, hindi pala contradicting yung advices natin, but it's more yeah, of yeah. it's more of yung statement, yung tip ko was a but continuation mm. sa advice mo. Yeah. Apo. <laughs> Yun okay. Lang. So thank you for that, Ate Gia. So now, Yuan, go ahead. So, okay, so now let's proceed to our next question. So this question is from Rafael Miguirocero. So he's part of our ITCG team. Okay, so his question is, I'm the type of person na gusto ko i-improve yung abilities ko sa digital arts o anumang form ng arts. Pero di ko po alam kung saan magsisimula. Any tips on that po? So again, he is the type of person na gusto improve yung abilities sa digital arts o namang form ng arts. Pero di ko po alam kung saan magsisimula. Any tips on that po? Okay, so who'd like to go first po? I no, guess, I know. I, I can go ahead. <laughs> oh, go ahead po. No problem. I guess, I know. Uh, um, look for inspiration. Through Pinterest, Behance, um, Instagram or Twitter hashtags. Because, parang at least doon, 
doon mo makikita kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. I think that's like the number one, the first question that you have to answer. Ano bang gusto mong gawin? So, ayun, go to those websites, Pinterest or Behance. Tapos, look, or follow accounts na does the same thing that you want to do. Tapos, from there, I guess, maybe look for, maybe look for, um, YouTube tutorials. Naniniwala ako sa power ng YouTube tutorials. And actually, YouTube channels din. Merong mga super nice YouTube channels na nag-talk about their own craft. Like, for example, ako kasi graphic design yung bet ko. So, I look for gra- other graphic designers dun sa YouTube. Tapos, ang cute kasi gumagawa sila ng poster. Tapos, like, they just show you their um ano tawag yun? how they work basically tapos from there parang dun pa lang inspire na ako and from there parang, i want to do that so yeah get yourself inspired okay po so thank you so would like to go next po to our speakers kuya LG po okay um uh, my tip for that is to find reference pictures or look for a reference lang if you want to start somewhere talaga. Uh, it could be like a view from your window. It could be like your pet. Or it could be like a picture of your friend or picture of a beach or nature. It could be anything. And then, you know, it's okay to have a reference. And that's also how I start and how I do most of my art. Kasi nga, diba? I can just imagine body parts. I have a, in, I know, the reference of the organs. That's, I, know, I draw from that. Okay, po. thank you. So, next, po. Ate Gia, Jartful. <laughs> um, siguro, parang yung kay Kuya LG na um, practice ka muna sa basics. Like, for example, ano ba muna yung gusto mong gawin? Gusto mo bang, ano bang style yung gusto mong i-pursue? So, from there, start ka sa basic, pag-practice ng ba, mata, ng ulo, kung ano man yun. And then, you build from there. Just, basta make sure na firm yung foundation mo. And then, okay ka na <laughs> for the rest ng process. Okay, so thank you for Ate Gia. So, Ashki. Um, okay. I think we can now move on to our next, next question. Oh. Okay, so this one is from Liana Camille Cruz. And Liana, let's go. Um, I have an art account with quite some following now, more than 100, mostly from fellow artists. However, as of late, I have become inactive in my art social media accounts due to lack of motivation real life responsibilities and stresses it has become a habit for me to not open my twitter or ig account because i know i'll be back again at that endless scrolling it's tedious for me being tagged in ig stories the chain type especially that makes me feel that i'm obligated to respond to them and do whatever it's in there i could tweet and share my stories about my status just so my followers will know that i'm still alive But I am not really used to sharing my thoughts online, both because I'm shy about it and in fear of being pointed at. Any advice or tips about this dilemma? Based on what the speaker said earlier, interaction is important, but I'm conflicted because of my real-life state. So, that's a long one. Thank you for that question, uh, Miss Liana. Um, Indeed. Who would like to go first? I think Gia is the expert in that. (laughs) Like um advice na she's she's shy to be shy about. Okay, I get it. Okay. Um, huwag mong pilitin sarili mo, girl. I mean, you don't have to feel 
I mean, di naman porket na basta wag ka ma-pressure. Halimbawa, for example, um, yun nga, natatag ka. Ano problem? <laughs> na, natatag ka, tapos minsan you feel obligated to respond to them if hindi, if you're not in the mood or kapag hindi ka nga, or if hindi okay yung mental health mo, then it's okay na take breaks. Kasi, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, Kuya Gian, ikaw mo muna. I'm trying to find. Binabasa ko ulit. Ano, well, first of all, you're not really required to. And, uh, ako actually, I don't do yung mga IG story, ano, challenges. I don't do that. Because number one, hindi siya on brand. <laughs> Branding is very, is very, ano, for me. Kasi, ano, I don't know if, if it's because yun yung chorus ko, parang yun yung isa sa mga focuses ng chorus ko, or because it's really a thing that I, I take into consideration. Pero ayun, you're not, you know, really required to do those IG stories, challenges. Next naman, yung pagdating sa I'm a shy girl I mean syempre do go go mingle at your own pace pero don't be afraid with the community kasi it's very ano it's very uh welcoming naman kahit na ang um, kaya lang naman I guess my people who have strong opinions on things like me for example is because there's something wrong with that certain person talaga and you know l- life <laughs> we're people we're human we make mistakes so at the end of the day rin naman these artists who ha- who call out different artists i we just want you to grow print as a person eh, not really just as a person but as an artist as well parang katulad ng sinabi ko kanina di ba merong parang 10,000 followers or even more than now tapos parang yunay hinahype yung mediocre niyang works ako naman parang you know I just want you to I just want that artist to create more art na pinaghirapan talaga, hindi yung tipo, here's an artwork. <laughs> Kasi, ayun, I, I want you to go and understand na there will really be people who will take you down. Pero if constructive naman talaga, it's because they want you to go. So don't be afraid of that. And again, do it at your own pace. You're not required to do it, ano, any time naman. Na asap ganon. <laughs> no says. <laughs> Pero yeah, you're not obliged naman to, to be active as much as possible. Do, do it when you want to do it. Okay, so now let's proceed to Kuya LG. Okay, LG, uh, your mic uh, is muted. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was saying, you know, uh, uh, I don't have much to add to this question because my art accounts are also inactive. And you know, I guess from that day, you can say na your out art account doesn't have to be active for your art to be out there. There are other ways like personal connections, going to cons, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, sabi nga ni Kuya Gia na work at your own pace. Um. Kaya siya siguro nagiging problem. Kasi for example ako, sa Instagram lang talaga ako may art account. 
kasi nakaka-overwhelm sa akin kapag meron kang Twitter, meron kang Instagram, meron kang Facebook. So I think para na rin makatulong sa mental health <laughs> and para siguro hindi ka ma-stress or ma-pressure, focus on one platform na lang para ayun, hindi ka masyadong maano. Kasi ako wala talaga ang Twitter. Kasi for me, naka mas ang hirap na mag-tweet ka tapos mag-post ka pa sa Instagram tapos ay saan na gets nyo? Basta just choose one platform siguro and then kapag comfortable ka na, doon ka na mag- mag- widen pa ng beach. <laughs> Yun lang. Okay, so thank you for your answers, uh, speakers. And thank you for that question, Miss Liana. Um, thank you for asking that. So, okay, so may we remind so, our guests first that we'll stop receiving questions, right? Yeah, it's ready to be now. Start. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so now I'll ask the next question, okay? Okay, so to our speakers, this question is from Nadine Salvador. So, regarding commissions, where do you often find clients? Again, regarding commissions, where do you often find clients? So, to our speakers, okay, would like to go first. Uh-huh. Would like to go? Yeah. So, I think the LG. <laughs> LG, do you think? Okay. <laughs> LG, go for LG. Uh, LG na lang. I don't do commissions much. Yung, uh, yung watercolor pets lang yung ginawa ko. What I did for that was post on my Twitter kasi I have an okay following there. And yun, know, that's how I got uh, clients for that. Pero if ever, like, you don't have that much of following, uh, your friends are there to help naman. You could ask your friends with the following to like share them for you. And ikaw na bahala, how you want to compensate part of the commission, din man, or wala, friends. Okay. So, Ate Gia, kay Gian? Si Gia muna. Okay. <laughs> Ate Gia. Um, how do I? Um, siguro, yun nga rin. Like Kuya LG, yung maganda kasi sa Maxay, <laughs> sobrang supportive nila. <laughs> so, you can start from there. <laughs> like, minsan magugulat ka na lang na kapag nag-tweet ka about commissions or kahit mag-post ka sa Facebook, sobrang supportive, which is cute. <laughs> so, don't be afraid na mag-self-promote kasi wala namang masama about it. So, di ko alam kung how do I find clients. <laughs> di ko rin alam po but like, message na lang sila sa'yo. But, ayun nga, nakakatulong din yung sinabi ni Kuya LG. Okay po, now let's head to Kuya GN. Thank you, Ate Gia. Kuya LG, okay. Well, ako kasi I don't do commissions, pero I would suggest checking out um different platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, Kasi dun, dun usually yung mga freelancers na naghanap ng, ano, ng gigs to, ano, um, pwede rin yung, uh, if, ang problem ko lang with those websites is that sobrang daming competitors, sobrang maraming, sobrang daming freelancers na nandun na I can't, like, keep like, feel ko kapag magkakaroon ako ng client, it's because ako yung first result na lumabas, which I highly doubt na mangyayari. <laughs> so, may mga lo- more local, I guess, more localized um, websites din, like GetCraft. Bago lang siya, or hindi pa siya masyadong sikat, nandun yung mga influencers, actually. Like, parang pwede kang mag... Parang siyang marketplace, like Lazada, except instead of products, it's services naman that you can offer. So, you guys can check out those websites as well. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so thank you for that uh, answers, uh, speakers. So now let's move on to the next question. 
Uh, this one is from John Albert Cabanit. And so this one's actually specific to the speakers. So mm. Kuya LG, uh, to Kuya Gian and Kuya LG, do you consider your art, uh, art business as a side job, or is it something you plan on growing as it continues, uh, as time goes by? And to Ate Gia, would you say that your art account is a stepping stone, a uh, stepping stone to something bigger you could do in the future? So first, uh, Kuya, uh, Kuya Gian and Kuya LG. Do you consider your art business a side job or is it something you plan on growing? Sige, I'll go well first. Um, for me, oh, it's a side job because I do everything. Eh. So from sending files to my printer, having them printed, packing them, designing the packaging, delivering it to all my partner stores, it takes a lot of my time talaga. Wala nga akong online store eh. Kasi, ano, ayaw ko pang dumagdagin sa stress ko. Pero, mukhang I need it now. <laughs> and, so yeah, it, it's a lot of work talaga. Knowing na you have to handle all aspects of the business. Next, something you plan on, is it something you, I plan on growing? Uh, yes. Uh, hindi lang ako nag- Bebenta ng stickers, they actually have like a bucket hat product as well. Nakalagay lang bucket, dun sa bucket hat. It's a bucket hat. <laughs> Tapos, ano, I, I also want to expand to prints, to clothing. I don't know. Kung ano man yung mga sikat sa mga hipster indie people, kasi yun naman yung brand ko. Why not get their money? <laughs> That's all. Go LG. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, right now, yeah, it is kind of like a side job lang. Something na I go in, something I go out. Right now, uh, I'm not currently selling. Kasi nga, it's quarantine. And my stock is in Manila. Right now, I'm in Lucena. So right now it's stock, and I also have like a main job. I'm an insurance agent for Sun Life. I guess I'm more into insurance policies or investments. Uh, pero still, I do want to continue it. It's parang my own advocacy narin, my lifelong advocacy to uh, share knowledge, share science, and that's why I wanna expand to more areas of science. And yeah, and it's also aligned naman with the course that I'm currently in medicine. So I thought to myself, why not sabayin? Okay, that is it. Okay, so thank you for that, Ate LG. So now, okay. Ate Gia, well, would you say your art account is a stepping stone to something bigger you could do in the future? Um, yeah, siguro. Kasi ginagamit ko rin yung art account ko para magpakita siya as portfolio nga. So, ayun, gusto ko lang syempre mag-expand, um, magkaroon ng business, magkaroon ng merch. <laughs> Choka. Basta mag-sell ng stickers and tote bags, ganon. Um, and hopefully to illustrate storybooks <laughs> and coloring books. Yun lang. Okay, so thank you for that, speakers. So now let's move on to the next question. Uh, we're nearing the end of our questions right now, so I'll pass. Okay, so thank you, Ate Gia. You one. Okay, so now let's proceed to our next question. So this question is from Michaela Aspuria. What are some things you wish you knew or could have done or done better po in your art careers? And if you don't mind sharing po, are there any mistakes you made that other artists or aspiring artists can learn from? Okay po, so from Mikaela Aspuria. So we'd like to go first from our speakers. I'm still thinking. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm still thinking. Okay. I'm still thinking. <laughs> 
Okay, mag-isip po muna tayo, no? Break up yung session. Good question. Very serious question din, no? Kasi we have to look back talaga kung meron talagang nangyari sa past natin or any decision, no? So, mga yeah. pag-isip po, nag-isip talaga so, sila lahat. Uh, absorb muna natin. Ako. Okay, I remember. Okay. Sa Ate Gia. Okay, okay. So go ahead. Um, I think, I think we'll focus na lang sa mistakes, siguro. Um, kasi no una, um, I would take artworks for free. So, for example, kapag may kamag-anak, <laughs> may kamag-anak or relative na magpapagawa, kahit logo, tapos packaging, um, kukunin kayo ng libre, <laughs> which I think is a no-no. <laughs> Kasi kaya maraming nagsasabi na walang pera sa arts is because maraming hindi nagbabayad. So I think artists can learn from that by saying no. If sa tingin nyo na, example, lalo na kung logo or yun nga, mga packaging and stuff like that, and if it's for business, I think you should learn when to say no, kung ano yung limit mo. So, for example, um, kapag ikaw na mismo yung naging social media manager ng negosyo nila, syempre, you should you should get paid for that. Yun lang. I'll try to think of anything else. <laughs> okay, so for our, thank you, Ate Gia, to our other speakers. Meron na po ba kayong na, naalala? <laughs> Honestly, wala akong maisip. <laughs> wow! I know. I here's the thing. Um, I think that we all have our own journeys. I don't think, naman, na I've made mistakes. Na na when it comes to being an artist or a designer. Pero ayun parang. It, we all, we all have our own journeys and i feel like magkakaroon ako ng mistakes in the future for sure okay, okay so now kuya lg hello uh, for me i guess it's my amount of activity because i have this goal that i want this my prints and greeting cards to be at National Bookstore or Fully Booked. And it's been like the goal since early when I started. But I haven't been doing a lot of the steps needed to get there. So I guess to improve on that is to like list down the steps you need to do it and then do them one by one. Because sometimes if that goal is something that big, it could be overwhelming. So go one step at a time. Okay, so thank you to our speakers. So, Ashki, I So now think we're on our, last? Uh, I think, second to last. We have no, one I more question after this, right? No, I think this, this is, the, is last? the last. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay, so this one, um, okay. well, she says, um, Hello, please wag niyong sabihin name ko for safety purposes when oh, yeah, second, sorry, wait, second to the last yan, second to the last yeah i was right okay uh -huh. hello please wag niyo sabihin name ko for safety purposes when pinosko ito hey, hey. so like sometimes i feel like the kind of art i'm putting out isn't honest to who i am like if it's related to romance i feel like i'm lying because i can't put out a certain something dun kasi makikita ng family like kahit sa sketchbook lang if you know what i mean when i start sharing my art I work hard on it and I want people to see to see it then and put it out there. I blocked my family, haha, <laughs> para hindi nila makita. So I want to share my art and at the same time create art. That's what more uh, that's more honest to who I am. Pero ayun, how can I be braver? So and where can I find more safe spaces po? Okay, so who'd like to uh tackle that question first. I'm guessing, uh, I'm making assumptions here, no? <laughs> I don't know who this person is. <laughs> yep. Pero I'm guessing this is 
like uh LGBT stuff ba? I don't know. Pero regardless, um, what artists do kasi is that they make an art account. Tapos, they don't name, hindi nila pangalan yung ginagamit nila. They have an artist name. So, I guess you can do that. Even with um, Twitter and or Instagram. So, and I know those are very safe spaces naman, I think. And for sure na, you know, you know do, do, those are, those are nice platforms naman. Kahit na it's very public, I, I understand. Pero with an artist name na hindi mo name, you can actually, you know, hide yourself in a way if that's what you want to do. Para at least you get your work out there, pa rin. Okay, Ashley. So thank you for that, Kuya Gian. And now, who'd like to go on next? Ate Gia, Kuya LG. Um, same sentiments lang din naman ako kay Kuya Gian. Um, ayaw rin kasi magsabi na nung tips on how you can be brave kasi basta ayaw kasi ma-pressure yung tao kung sino ka man. <laughs> but um, make sure na lang na don't let, basta don't let anyone na i-push ka to come out or to be honest or basta, basta gets to na yun. Be brave at your own pace. Parang ganun. Basta don't let anyone do it for you. Basta kung kailan mo gusto, kung kailan ka ready, go. Okay. Uh, for me naman, going back to be good, be brave, be safe. So as long as your intentions are good, uh, then you're good. You don't have to worry as long as you're not like hurting anyone else. Like, uh, and then be brave. And be brave and be safe. Uh, those two can be done at the same time. It's not necessary na, oh, I have to be brave, so I have to like risk myself. Uh, you can be brave just by being who you are or doing what you like doing. And but always remember to be safe. Okay, so thank you for that, speakers. Thank you for that answer. Um, now we will move on to the last question last we have. Question, yes. Okay, so Yuan, go ahead. Okay, so this question is quite related to, to, to artists having commissions. Okay, so I think this was quite similar. This is a bit similar to the question we asked earlier. So to our speakers, um, anonymous you nag tanong. Okay, so ayon pahalala. So, paano kapag school service at part sa ng organization, need ba ng compensation for that? So again, we're talking about commissions po. Ah. So, natanong po if dapat bang, ano yun, dapat bang bigyan ng, ng compensation yung commission pag part ng school service or part sa ng organization sa school. So again, paano kapag school service at part sa ng organization, need ba ng compensation for that? Okay, so... Would like to go first? Um, this is very relevant. No? Relevant po, no? Okay. Nakinigro ko yung org, Charat. Ano, well, here's the thing. Hindi naman required. They're not really required to pay you. I mean, I get it. I, I get yung, yung, yung com- question. Pero, it's being part of these organizations are really volunteer work. I think hindi siya hindi siya ano, hindi siya job na ina-applyan technically na from a company and they're not really making money out of these projects that they do. So, it's okay and they're and 
these organizations are not really required. Yung mga school orgs, ha, yung mga school orgs, kahit na magsay pa to or sa college, they're kind of not, they're not required to pay you because it is volunteer work. But they are really lucky to have you if you're doing creative work for them. For example, yung org ko, Meron kami ng creatives team, meron kami na gumagawa ng maths for all the events. Eh, parang yung events na ginagawa namin, weekly workshops. Tapos, gumagawa rin kami ng big events na film festival levels na open to outsiders. Free lahat yun, even though na kumikita in a way yung org dun. Pero, ayun, parang kamparang ganda ng resume. <laughs> Okay, so thank you, Kuya Gian. So I'd like to go next. Kuya LG or Algia, sino po? Okay, Kuya LG. Okay. Uh, I guess it depends on the work and what org it is. Because, uh, I don't know, if you joined an org voluntarily for that purpose talaga, then that org has the rights to ask you for that work. Pero if the situation is that org is parang outsourcing, is going to you who have their logo made, and you, you deserve compensation for that. Because orgs have funds naman talaga, and they should allocate funds for their projects like that. Okay, so thank you po Kuya LG. So Ate Gia, what's your take on this po? Um, wait lang, I'm thinking. <laughs> gets gets ko rin naman kasi kung bakit nang hihingi ng compensation yung mga artists pero tulad nga ng sinabi ni Kuya Gian and Kuya LG kasi if you think about it logically kung may bayad din yung mga artists dapat may bayad din yung mga officers so if, does that make sense? so for example if you're getting paid to do art sa org na yun, edi dapat binabayaran din yung president, yung vice president, or something like that. Pero, tulad nga rin ang sinabi ni Kuya LG, I think I'm just, <laughs> um, inaano ko lang, tulad ng sinabi ni Kuya LG, if outsider or kapag hindi part ng org yung gagawa ng visuals or ng commission, then I think kailangan na rin to ng bayad. Did I make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yes, po. <laughs> okay, so I think we're good with that question. So to our to our anonymous na nagtanong, we hope na na nasagot ng mga speakers Speaker. yung question yun. Question. All right. So that was the last question, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we can move on to our closing statements, and again to our audiences. Um, we're actually joined by the ITCG advisor, um, Sir LJ Flores. So may we call him to give us his closing statements. So Sir LJ, are you Hi, there? Hi, thank you, Ashley, and you are. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, speakers, uh, to Gian, to, to Mr. Gian Ferrer. Uh, nice to meet you, po. Nice okay. to meet you. Uh, hello, po, sir. And siyempre, um to LG, hi LG, I'm so proud of you. Hello. Ayan. <laughs> and also to, to Julia. Ayan. Uh Julia, thank you so much. Ayan. Um yun speakers, uh salamat kasi ininspire niyo ulit yung mga audience natin. Uh hindi kayo hindi kayo uh, nag hesitate to to share your stories to them. Um and kasi yung iba kasi um may not have had a voice, di ba, to, to speak up sa mga ganito. So, kayo yung nagiging instruments nila para ma-inspire sila sa mga ganitong uh, scenario or situation. And, of course, um, thank you for sharing your work, yan, uh, with not only sa mga tao sa paligid nyo, kundi sa, sa mundo, sa Pilipinas, okay? And, yun, I, gusto ko lang i, gusto ko lang i-flex si, si LG, no, kasi, yung naalala ko yung <laughs> yung ano niya yung binigay niya sa akin na card nung nag-offer siya one time ng artwork niya 
yung pinapakilala niya pa lang sa sa school sa Maxa yung kanyang uh, ano yung ano yung card yung card na may heart basta related siya sa science so ayun LG nakatabi pa rin yun so ayun from mm-hmm. that na kumbaga parang si LG nag-start siya sa sa Maxay as an artist na kumbaga parang parang yung brand niya yung yung kanyang uh, art niya ay pinakilala niya muna and then eto na nga siya uh, here he is na na yun na nakokompensate na ngayon yung kanyang mga ginagawa ayun kaya napakahusay okay and um yun uh, thank you also for reminding us no speakers Uh, of what's possible. Ayan, kung paano sila makakakuha ng clients, kung paano yung mga, uh, yung art nila ay makikilala through social media. And, ayun, um, nakakatuwa talaga. Um, yun, thank you din sa service ninyo sa Maxay, no? Uh, kasi, kung wala rin naman kayo, actually, eto, di ba? Since, since uh, some of you, or sabi, pwede natin sabihin na professional na din kayong tatlo, na pwedeng Pwedeng sabihin na na kumikita na ako eh, kumikita na ako, binibenta ko na yung art ko. So, dapat itong webinar na to, may fee siya. Pero hindi. Okay, nag-sacrifice kayo to share your knowledge to the to, to the lower grades or to the lower levels. Kaya maraming salamat. Kasi uh, you are continuously um, supporting Maxay. Diba? Binibigay nyo yung, yung kaya nyo ibigay sa mga, sa mga estudyante natin na kung saan kayo nagsimula. At ito kayo ngayon na unti-unting nagiging successful hanggang sa matarok na talaga yung yung tagumpay na kinakailangan, 'di ba? Ayun and ayun sana if ever na 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 meron ulit na mga ganitong uh, webinars or seminars, uh, sana hindi kayo mag-alinlangan to to ano to say yes lalong-lalo na kung may time kayo and yun nga sana mabigyan niyo pa rin kami ng free time ninyo kasi kailangan na kailangan talaga ng mga students ngayon para ma-inspire uh, to be more positive sa mga situation na nangyayari ngayon. And, yun. Ayun, and yun nga, uh, hindi lang to para sa ITCG Club, uh, ang community ng, ng Maxay ay sobrang proud sa inyong uh, speakers, sa inyong tatlo. Okay, kasi actually, um, alam, alam naman ng school ang nangyayari sa webinar na to. It was approved by our principal Mrs. Eden at Samadan. So alam niyang um, yung webinar na to ay talagang um, ongoing. Ayan. So kaya rin nandito ako to to support uh, my organization, our organization. I mean, ayun. Thank you so much LG, Sir Gian, um, and siyempre Julia. Ayan. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that, sir. Uh, before we move on to the uh, handing out of the digital certificates, we actually have believe, one more announcement from Kuya oh. GM. <laughs> okay, yes. not mistaken. Sure. Okay, so can, we, uh, can we put up the PowerPoint? Yes, please, to our technical team. All right. So for our audience, bear with us. So, we have uh, one more announcement. Sige, while waiting, explain ko lang kung ba't ko naisipang gawin to. Wow! I, here's the thing. I didn't know na maraming artists now sa Maxay and I would like to have like a community, I guess. Parang I want to help out as much as possible. So I'm cr- announcing the Maxay Creative Community community. Yes, my Facebook group na. Just search that key Maxi Creative Community. So what I'll be doing there is I'll be sharing resources and opportunities to to all of you and I and sana kayo rin mag-share din kayo ng resources and opportunities because so that's what I've been doing then ever since I started aesthetic. So every time I see like a convention na, na my open call for artists. I post it on Facebook. If you want to start your own sticker or art business, I can help you out as well. Magpo-post rin ako ng mga, ng mga magagandang resources for that. Open calls for galleries or maybe even e-books na nakikita ko. So, sana we can all grow together as a creative community through that Facebook group. 
and this wouldn't happen if it weren't for this talk. <laughs> yes, for well, indeed, and this is a very good opportunity, po, since um, this is not only a partnership between ITCG and Kuya GN, but this is um, a program that will help, of course, all the creative minds and, of course, artists in Makati Science. And we are well aware naman po na marami po talaga tayong students na ganun, no? Am I right, Ashki and Kuya GN, no? We were really yeah, absolutely. surprised yeah. to know na, na, na marami ta, marami students. And, of course, it is part of ITCG's advocacy to support every artist in Makati Science High School. Right, Ashki? Yep. Okay. So, thank you, Kuya GN, for that. Okay, we really appreciate it. And of course, um, we would like to ask everyone who's in who's in the meeting, of course, na um, to actively share your ano, arts, your art accounts, your, um, your your works. We'll be happy to support that. Okay, so just like what Ati Gia said, if you also have art accounts, you know, let's be friends, let's connect with, let's um, help each other. Okay, since we are one community in Maxai. Okay, so thank you. So Ashki, I think we could proceed now to our next part. Certificate. Okay. So to show our appreciation to the three speakers, uh, ITCG would like to present them uh, digital certificates. So. Okay, hold on. All right. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh my God. All right, wait, wait. I I'll do it. I'll do it. It's fine. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're good. So... Sorry. Can you see it? Is it here? Is it there? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So we would like to present uh, the three speakers digital certificates to show our appreciation for them attending this webinar. So if you'll allow me, I'll read it to everyone. Uh, Makati Science High School Information Technology Core Group presents this certificate of appreciation to Gian Ferrer, Julia Kate Jarin, and Leonardo Gabriel Asejo for sharing his and her knowledge and experiences as an artist to the Makati Science High School student body during the webinar entitled where art thou stem creatives given this fourth day of july 2020 as part of the information technology core groups connected program so again thank you to all of our speakers for joining and giving us your experiences exactly so thank you so much again to our speakers since this was not only a webinar about your experiences or your um, knowledge about being an artist, but you were able to share so many things that our Mac Mahati Science High School students can take note and remember. And of course, we really appreciate you um, participating and being with us today. Again, to Mahati Science High School students, we would like to thank you as well. And again, I would like to reiterate our support to each and every creative mind and artist in Mahati Science High School. So, mm -hmm. To our, I would like to thank our ITCG team, um, and of course to our teacher, to our advisor for helping us here. And Ashki, do we have? Did I forget someone? That do we have to thank um, other, other people? There, no, it's uh, I think we've uh, we've listed them all. Um, ITCG team, uh, Rafael Renario, Julian Rose Reyes, uh, Gia Jarin, uh, Luke Pagawitan, who was not able to. Uh, to be our technical for today, but uh, he's amazing. And um, I hope in our future webinars, he will be able to return. Alex Menya, Rafael Miguel Rosero, and Ezra Pintukan. So to each and every one of you, we thank you for, um, and to our audience as well, thank you for joining us in this webinar. So again, Maxai, this is not our last webinar. This is not, this is just, a part of our long list of programs that we have all for you. So again, guys, thank you so much for participating. Again, speakers, thank you. And everyone, 
God bless. Stay at home and thank you. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So I guess this ends our program. Thank you, guys. Oh, no, I can't go. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you, thank you speaker. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, join, join the group. Okay, visit. We'll make a post about it. Abangan nyo na lang. Thank you, guys. Yan. Okay. So, thank you, Maxai community, for supporting ITCG and for joining our two-part webinar series. So, thank you, Maxai, again. Okay lang, thank you na kami. Pero, again, thank you. <laughs> Thanks really? for joining us.